Hi YouTube, M6CB here, back again with another video. Um, today I want to bring you the RT84. Now I'm going to say that I think this is the perfect radio uh, for use with a hotspot. Um, it's inexpensive, currently it's about $86 directly from Retivis. Now I would suggest you go there, uh, get a good warranty, get it directly from the supplier. The price is very reasonable. I'll put the link in the description anyway. Which works out about sort of sixty-five pounds, sixty pounds ish, um, which is an absolute bargain for a DMR radio. Uh, as you might have seen my other videos, I've, I've got the Alens HD One. Obviously, that's double the price. Um, I mean, that is a fantastic radio. But I take that out; it's waterproof. I take it fishing. You know, it's perfectly for outdoors. Whereas this, I would say, is perfect for just using around your house, using your hotspot. It'll do one watt low power, so you can just carry it around the house. I've had absolutely no issues getting into the hotspot whatsoever. We'll have a quick look at that later on in the video as well and we'll also have a, a brief look at the uh, the programming software just so you can get a feel for it. But I, th I wanted to put the, the video playing behind me so you could at least, rather than me doing a close-up showing you all around the radio, it makes sense to just play the video so you can see it as I'm talking to you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a fantastic radio. One of, one of the best things I like about this, which is another reason I think it's good for a hotspot, is it'll take the entire DMR mark database. Um, currently that's 130,000 at the moment, which is an absolutely, DMR is going so crazy at the moment, it's just growing and growing and growing and growing. I'll have to find the current, um, how much this can actually store, I'm not 100% certain of that. But I know that Alens HD1 was 100,000, um, obviously we've surpassed that now, we're at 130. So this one, I can confirm, will take the entire 130, no problem at all. So when you're getting a transmission coming through, through your hotspot, the, the um, person's call sign and name and everything comes through on the radio, absolutely no problem at all. Um, it's got a 2000 milliamp power battery. Which is perfect, you know, if you're using one watt of power, um, it, it's, it lasts a long, long time. Um, and I, as I say, the, again, why it's perfect with a hotspot, you can walk all around your house, you get no issues getting into it. Um, it receives really well, I, I've never had any issue receiving the hotspot. We'll have a look at the Pi Star dashboard in, in a little while as well. And we'll show you how sensitive it is actually from upstairs where I am filming this video to where the hotspot is downstairs. It's quite a fairish distance uh, through, through a load of walls and floor and everything. So uh, we'll have a quick look at that as well. So thank you very much for, 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 um, for watching. Without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. Right, before we get into the video, I just wanted to show you where you get your uh, DMR contacts from. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where uh, this website basically. Uh, so you want to create a free account on here, as you can see at the top, I'm logged in. Uh, and once you're logged in, you'll be able to see here, free CSV download. So just click download there, and uh, and away you go. There you go, save the file, um, and that's it, basically. And then we'll move on to the programming software uh, where we can put it in. Right, we'll have a look at the, uh, the programming software now. As I say, I'm not going to go into a detailed guide because I've done one on the RT3S which is a lot more in depth. So go and check that out. Link will be in the description where they're all very much the same. All Retivis radios, DMR radios, they're all programmed the very same way. In fact, most DMR radios are programmed the same way. So have a look at that one for a more detailed uh, guide. But as a general gist, we want the first thing you want to do is go to general settings. Now you'll want to put your DMR ID in there. If you don't do that, your radio won't work. It won't get into the network. So that's the most important thing to do. Um, you can fit your uh, call sign in here if you want down here and your location so that when you turn the radio on it will show it on the display as it's booting up. Uh, I don't bother, I just leave it as it is. In fact, most of these things I leave as it is. I don't, I don't tinker with any of this really. Um, so then you want to go to your digital contacts. So these are basically... Um, I've got all my talk groups in there. I've got the Parrot, you know, obviously you can do a, a test of your voice. We'll, we'll try that in a minute. Uh, we've got Hubnet, um, TAC310. Um, I, I showed, um, as a say, if I wanted to do um, uh, add another one, so you just click add, and then we'll just call this one, I don't know, say TAC315. Um, I don't, you know, just to, for an example. Uh, so we'll call it that, and then the talk group would be 315. And then you go add, you know, yada yada. Just keeps going. So that's basically how you do it, no problem at all. So once you've got a list of all your your, um, 
your talk groups in there you need to add them to your channels um so basically if we go to if you if you went to channel, you're not going to have these when you start up because obviously mine's been programmed so you would just click right click and you would click add which would then give you a new blank channel so this is how it would look completely blank and um, so we'll go to the one that i've actually done so here it is so basically you just i've used my hotspot frequency is 434 dead uh, on both tx and receive so i just put those in there um, and then obviously i would click here the contact name and i would we, we did say tac 315 and then we'd call it tac 315 and then come out of it and then you'll see now it's been renamed to TAC315. So basically, to, to, so that you've got all your talk groups together, all you need to do is right click on one you've already done, click copy, then go back to channel information, right click and add. And then when you new channel that comes that's blank, you right click it and click paste. And now all the information's back. And all you have to do then is change the contact name uh, from one of the ones we just did before and change the name of it. And that's it. That's basically it. Um, and then if you went to the, to the zone, say you could have a repeaters zone where all you, you, you programmed all your repeaters um, so that they, they keep them separate from the hotspot. Whereas I think this is just perfect for, for a hotspot. So I just use it solely for a hotspot. So um, basically you, they will appear, appear here and you just add them across so that they're in the, in the zone. And the zone is just a collection of the channels as you're doing your channels here, your, your repeaters will be in there, your hotspot talk groups will all be mixed in there, and it, it'll get jumbled, basically. All your channels will be all in together, whereas the zones, um, think of them as folders. So it keeps the specific channels in folders. So you'll have a repeaters folder and a hotspot folder. So it just kind of keeps things organized. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how the programming software works. As I say, I'll put a link in the description um, of how to go and get the uh, where you go to get the DMR mark uh, database uh, as we did that on the earlier part of the video um, as, as once you've got this DMR database you need to go to program and write contacts and then you would click import uh, find it on your computer uh, where we downloaded it before and then click uh, write on there and it'll write it to your radio it'll take a good five minutes it's quite a big database but once it's done you'll be fine and then you can carry on with the code plug doing this and adding bits and pieces um, but as I say I'll put all the links in the description as I say the RT3S programming guide is going to be a lot more detailed than this um, so check that out that will probably help you out quite a lot so now we'll look at the Pi Star dashboard and we'll see how the RT84 performs with that right we're at my uh, Pi Star dashboard uh, I highly recommend you build your own hotspot if you, if you haven't already. You can do it for really, really cheap money. Um, it, all it is is a Raspberry Pi. You can probably get a second-hand Raspberry Pi for, for really next to nothing. Uh, and an MMDVM board from China. I think I paid 30 quid for that. Um, if that, um, glue them together kind of thing and put Pi Star, which is free software, and away you go. Anyway, if, you want, if you're interested in building your own hotspot, um, I've got a tutorial, a full written tutorial and a YouTube video tutorial, so I'll put the links in the description. So basically I'm using one watt of power on the uh, on the RT84. Now my Pi Star dashboard will give me a BER rate here, which will show me how much loss there is in my transmission. As long as it's green, we're, we're happy days, everything's great. We'll do a quick test now and we'll see how it sounds. So let's just test. Okay. This is Mag 6, Charlie Echo Bravo, M6CB testing on the Parrot. 1, 2, 3, 4, testing. 1, 2. This is Mag 6, Charlie Echo Bravo, M6CB testing on the Parrot. 1, 2, 3, 4, testing. 1, 2. See, as you can see, that the BR there, I haven't got my glasses on if I'm looking like glaring into here, but it's 0.7%. So it's green, so we're absolutely fine. Now my hotspot is downstairs um, in the front room. I'm filming this in my sort of uh, in my office, if you will, which is upstairs where my computer is and everything. So all through the walls, through the floor, everything, 0.7% uh, BER on the lowest power uh, of, of one watt. 
So with a 2000 milliamp hour battery, you're going to last forever. It, it, you know, it really does last well. Plus, when I say all the call signs come up on the display of when you're talking to people, it's, it's great. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, really, really, really good. Um, as I say, I'll put all the links uh, that you'll need in, in the description. Um, I highly recommend you build your own hotspot and use Pi Star. It's really good and it's really, really not that difficult. Um, I've had loads of uh, comments about my YouTube video and on the website um, of how, you know, people guys in their in their 80s having a go at doing it because they, they think that it's really difficult to build a hotspot and when you actually show how easy it is they're like they, you know they're like oh thank you you know i didn't really i didn't think i'd be able to do it and anyway brilliant absolutely great and i wanted to say a huge thank you as well to to the 700 subscribers now um so we're, we're doing brilliant um so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to have a, a, a do a, a little bit of a video i want to show just my hotspot just so you can just so you can see it really um, so I'll just show you how I've built it. So we'll move over to that now. Right, I wanted to show you my... Um, I'm, I'm filming this on the phone now, so I'm, uh, I'm just showing you my hotspot that I built. Um, this cost me roughly about 60 quid to do. Um, it's probably a lot cheaper now because it's using an old uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi B, not the B+. Plus. I think that's the latest one, so it's the one before that. Um, but yeah, you can have Wi-Fi and everything on it. Uh, I just hardwire it using the uh, the internet port there at the side. Um, use a little supplied antenna that you get. Let me just have a quick look over the top. You can see there we've got the Raspberry Pi basically with the MMDVM board on top. Uh, and obviously the antenna coming out the back. Now this case I got, uh, it was just a Raspberry Pi case that I've modified. I got it on, on eBay somewhere. Um, and basically the uh, Nextian screen um, is just basically stuck on the front basically you can probably see it just a bit down there and then soldered uh, directly in, into the MMDVM board uh, big shout out to G0HRJ for uh, for your soldering skills <laughs> much appreciated um, so yeah that's basically it really um, and if I transmit now on, on here you can see the, uh, the display so we'll just do a, a quick test now this is Mike 6 Charlie Echo Bravo testing. This is Mike 6 Charlie Echo Bravo testing. So there you go. So it's absolutely brilliant. So if you if you haven't built one, uh, I'll put a link in the description of how I built this. And uh, I highly recommend you you do the same because it's, it's it's you know, why pay m you know mega money for people to do it for you when uh, when you can do it really simply yourself. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you it basically, and and so you could see uh, the hotspot. So what do I think of the uh, Retavis RT84? Well, as you probably guessed it, I'm a huge fan. Um, I think they've done a really good job. Um, it's it's really really well made. I mean, we're talking about a radio that's what sixty five pounds. Um, so we're talking really really cheap, and it's really really well made. Um, I love the rubbery uh, PTT switch on the side. Um, that's you know really nice to touch. Got three programmable buttons on the side. Um, so that's one more than the Alien HD one, for example. Um, nice color display. Um, yeah, nice nice keypad, all lights up. You can have it continuously lit up. Um, I have mine so that the uh, all the lights on it on it light up constantly. You can have it on a timer if you want. Um, it's basically like most of the DMR radios, really. Um, it, it's just a really really good entry level radio. I mean, if you're thinking of getting into DMR um, and there's not a DMR repeater near you. Build your own hotspot, buy this, all in, you're probably £100 and you're into DMR. Whereas if you were trying to get into Fusion, for example, you're looking at a £300 radio. Plus you'd need a hotspot if you haven't got a Fusion repeater near you. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you really won't go far wrong with this. Um, so yeah, huge shout out uh, to all seven. I've got over 700 subscribers now, so that's absolutely brilliant. I really never thought it would it would get as, as high as it has. So thank you for everyone who's commented. I really appreciate it. I try and get back to all the emails and all the comments as best as I can. But obviously I've got a, a busy family life, as you can all appreciate. 
Um, so big huge shout out to everybody. There'll also be another video coming soon on the Retivis RT95, the mobile version. That I'm really looking forward to. And um, I'm currently working with G0 HIJ, big shout out to you Wayne, on uh, a repeater. GB3 EP coming to Ellswick Preston. So that'll be a, a two metre voice uh, repeater coming. Uh, as well as the two gateways that are on Fusion. So that's going to be really, really good. We're really, really excited about, about the future. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. You really won't go far wrong. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe uh, for future videos. Uh, put the bell notification on. Everything that you'll need will be in the description below. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And until uh, the next time, 73.